Commercial vehicle safety is a top priority for Nebraska state troopers. Good evening, I'm Jennifer Griswold. A recent deadly crash has troopers making sure vehicles and drivers are following the law. Senior reporter Jake Wasikowski tells us how it's keeping all of us safe. A surprise stop. We'll get this going so we'll get you on the road. For commercial vehicles that may not normally be checked. Four way flashers. Looking at engines, brakes, Honk your horn. loads, and driver qualifications. Go ahead, fire it up so you can get the, the state patrol. <laughs> checks dozens of vehicles in all shapes and sizes along Highway 370. Part of our job today is education, uh, part of it is enforcement, uh, but we're trying to contact drivers vehicles and companies that might not normally come in contact with the state patrol and carrier enforcement. The Sarpy County Sheriff's Office asked NSP to help with the inspections after 10 year old Stephen Young and 16 year old Abby Young were killed when their van was rear ended by a dump truck on Highway 370 this month. We felt it was really important to as school starts here and as uh, traffic continues to be heavy along 370 and in other areas in Sarpy County to get out here and take a look at the vehicles and uh, try to make a, a, a splash you might say. Troopers say they found equipment not secured, drivers without proper credentials, and most common, drivers using their cell phones. And as you can see, some drivers have had to actually leave their trailers because the state patrol says that the drivers weren't qualified or didn't have the proper license to haul the equipment. Deb Thomas has been a commercial driver for years. The only violation is not being able to find that current registry or periodic inspection form. Okay. And is glad authorities are doing the random checks. That's your copy there. It's very necessary. All the accidents and everything that's going on. Yep, just to be safe. Everything has to be up to date and they all should be up to date. You see a few out there that are not, you know they're not, but there's nothing you can do. Troopers want drivers to make sure they're qualified, put down the cell phones, and make sure your equipment is in working order for the safety of everyone. For Safe Roads Now, Jake Wazikowski, 3 News Now.